Hey there guys, this is Robin Hood, and today I'm bringing you another episode in the Total War Room 2 Athenian campaign. Um, last time we established more of a bridgehead here in Asia Minor. We've conquered Ephesus, and uh, we're going to be heading out towards Pessinus here soon. I do believe I'm at war with Side. So we've got to uh, Sardes, not Side, my bad. That was the city. But, we're going to have to deal with that. Also, we took Araminum and uh, Medlon up here. So we've got to figure out how we want to continue to expand. I'm at peace with Liguria. Um, I could go ahead and take them out and finish the Edict. I've also got to look at Rome here, though. First objective is probably going to be Neapolis. And that is because... Uh, I am at war with the Del Monte there. I cannot recruit crap here. So that army is going to have to suffice as is. But I think we've got a lot of money. Um, and decent income. One thing I should do actually is I need to get more agents going. We need to get some agents in these armies as well. It's actually uh, significantly helpful. And let's see, do I have any other than these guys? I have a spy down here. Okay. And... We'll go ahead and damage them a little bit job spy. So I'm just trying to figure out. We're going to want to sit here for a turn or two because public order is uh, terrible. And you know, downgrading this might help. Should definitely help actually. We're fine for food there. Maybe I should upgrade that garrison. These agents can't move for a turn. We'll recruit this guy, agent, to go in his army, and diplomacy. I think I've tried trading Regions with these guys several times. Giria, let's see. You honor us. Yeah, see, they they like me, but they don't want to trade. I'm at war with a decent amount of people. Most of the. Uh, Oh, I'm at war with them? Huh. And the Rady. Okay. About these guys. Huh. Well, I guess I'm at war with this entire edict up here, so, uh, gonna wanna focus on that a little bit, too. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. I might wanna finish up some of those wars before I go stomping on Rome. Or I could just go stomp on Rome. Um, we'll have to figure out. Trade between our oh. Lands will now end. These guys don't want to trade anymore. I should just adopt like a ruthless policy. Anyone cancels agreement with me, I immediately send an army. But uh, we're not going to do that because that would spread us out in some strange strange ways there let's see badly here just want to get an idea of what's at these settlements see that won't be that bad we'll put this guy back in this military uh, this place is hurting however for Uh, public order, I could not remember what I was trying to say. See how close our spy can get to Neapolis. Del Monte shouldn't have... Oh. Never mind, I'm wrong. Uh, that's not a very good army, but... I am, the champion of the gods. Get that I am incorrect ready. to say that that is a... 
undefended city there, so we'll have to go deal with them soon enough. And I'm curious as to where these guys are marching. Let's see, Pergamon's going to have a good garrison. This place... It won't be bad. We'll go ahead and upgrade it, though. It won't be a decent garrison there. Because I'm thinking... Although my military is providing most of the public order support here... It'll benefit me to, uh... Finish the edict, which I can't actually do because roads. So, this fleet... We're gonna go down here and keep people from uh, moving out of side there. And... I am gonna go ahead, maybe these guys will attack me. It's gonna stop me there. They've got quite a few forces. Up in there, huh? Yeah, for Imperium, we're fine. There's nothing going on. Neither of these armies can move because I put agents in them. Uh, technology is working on that. And yeah, we'll need to start focusing on. Some more economic stuff. That's always what I do. I go for the economic research tree um, initially because you can pay for your militaries with more money. It's kind of nice to have funding. My people can okay, this trade is going to be worth 359. Paying him soon. I don't know. In eventually, I would make money, um, but honestly, I'm not gonna take that because I might end up killing them before I'd made my money back. Oh, hello. That is not going to end favorably, is it? Even if I fight this battle. Well. Goodbye, sir. So they basically just signed a, uh, a death warrant. They didn't even take my city. I think they just burned it. And there we go. That's what I wanted. So these guys... Yeah, what the heck? It's like all slingers. Why does that not favor me? Okay, I guess we're fighting a battle, guys. If I'm lucky, I can take out, uh, four forces here. We'll have to see. And there we go. I'm trying not to, uh, actually talk during the ending of the load times, because if you guys have seen some of my more recent uh, multiplayer battle replays, for some reason, like, it glitches out my voice right as the battle's ending, and I recorded two more today, which I'm not going to redo because of that, because it's only for a split second, um, but it, it glitches out right at the end. It makes my voice get really fast and electric just kind of weird so we're just gonna I mean these guys are attacking us but we're just gonna go kill them I'm gonna wait till I can see everyone first hey oh skirmisher cavalry Enemy reinforcements pikemen not dangerous at all on their own uh, light cavalry, once again, not a threat. Where are those? Oh, I'm going the complete wrong direction. Companion cavalry, okay. 
so my uh, Hippeus Lancers can hopefully match those guys more like Cav. Like Cav. Once again, it won't matter because I've got a ton of Hoplites. So we're going to speed it up and let them group up so that hopefully I can more effectively end their pitiful existence. There they are, all those slingers. Good god. I just figured we might as well move up here. I don't know why. Um... Okay, I just don't want them moving on me before I'm ready. Hopefully my men aren't getting tired doing this. It's always a little bit weird moving your troops in uh, triple speed. My guys should be ready to go here. We'll let them walk the rest of the way. That way they are not tiring themselves out. Yeah, these guys here are some of the farther forward ones are active. Now they're back to fresh. There we go. These guys should be... Can look here. Pretty mountain off in the back, but the army's good to go. The enemy is out there. Waves and waves of slingers. And here they come. So we will let them line up in front of us. Hack them down! Hop the tail! That's just, just like cavalry. These guys should be pretty effectively caught here. General, speed. Keep the chase on them. Yeah, we want guys spreading out a bit more. Oh, that totally did not give me a charge at all. Why did it not select them? These light cab just do not want to die. Those guys there should be about to die. This is a lot of, uh, a lot of skirmishers. They're doing a little bit of damage, not, not that much. Now that this cavalry is free. And someone is Skype messaging me. That is not helpful. charge on the side of those guys. And that cav is back. All those guys. Don't want those guys hitting directly. 
with uh, pike units. The enemy general is dead. And that should be that. Everyone routed. We'll end it, although I could continue it and probably destroy more. Yeah. Either way, that puts a uh, kink in their plans. And I can just continue marching up and take uh, Sardes. I believe it's the city. No, Sardes is the faction. Um, it's like Pessinus or something. So, we'll see about that. Most of my guys did well there. <laughs> Cav unit there took no losses, 487 kills. That's what happens when you fight a ton of skirmishers. A lot of skirmishers. But they're pretty effectively crippled. They didn't do anything. I mean, they're fighting heavily armored units with, like, no melee infantry of their own. My slingers got in on the... not slingers. Javelins got in on the action there. You have further orders. Sadly, the, that did not, uh finish any of the armies. Those two guys there should be, unless of course I'm immobilized. Hopefully that failed. Bellion imminent. We hunger for battle. And that sucks, he, uh... Besieging settlement. He made my force not be able to move anywhere near as far. Of course, my spy gets wounded. Great. So the rebellion's gonna be up here. Yeah, minus 52. Because of this. That's no fun. Um, sacrifice a child. That's a little bit creepy. How many people? I'm at war with a lot of people. And it's because when you when you attack anyone over here, like the Seleucid's entire gang of people, uh, gets angry at you. So we'll blockade here. Blockade Just hold that. Ready for battle. My military is still providing the bulk of uh, assistance there. But we'll move on anyways. How can I be of assistance? I will give them a we'll have a go at this guy. And of course, yep, all my new spies are getting wounded. That was probably dumb. That was not something I should have done. So my question... Is do I want... I need to get rid of some of these agents. It's not gonna work. Ready for orders. Get to it, men. At your command. We're gonna move here and hopefully be able to fight those guys off. After I take this place, I might need to march back up north with this army. Um, as long as I'm on good terms with Rome for now. Which they like me. 
gear, yeah. Welcome. We will talk and then we They don't want to just trade. They want money. I'm not going to give them any money. Uh so here We hunger for battle. Yeah, I mean we're just going to have to is it this guy? We're just going to have to go and uh hopefully not be sabotaged again. Maybe they'll attack us again. They've recuperated a little bit. Although, as long as that agent doesn't mess us up too badly, um, Pessimist should fall. The Del Monte. Ah, there we go. So we're going to have to fight these guys out in the field, too. They've got... That's... I mean, they're attacking me with all those guys. I've got pikemen. So this should be pretty standard. Should be another slaughter. And here we go. Yeah, so... Yeah, this is gonna be... Uh, it's kind of nasty terrain. Look at that. Deploy down there. It's a terrible idea. But we get to see the ocean. Hello there, ocean. I've always found it funny how these cliffs look. And they just kind of... Oh no. They're kind of lame. So we're just going to line these guys up. Yeah, you know, I don't even really care about this deployment. Good. My guy just said he despises barbarians. That's always a plus. And we will... The heck? It's kind of strange, my general's in a hoplite unit. Yeah, see, these guys aren't going to be much of a challenge. Waiting for their single reinforcement unit, which is in a cavalry unit here. I don't know what these guys are doing. Because they should be attacking me. I'm not going to move on them. They engaged this fight. Here they come. There we go. Come, good men. To your deaths. Would be... Much accepted. Slave slingers. Bet you those guys don't want to be here. Being a slave and going and slinging and all those things. Not what I'd want to do on a Sunday. Although I have no way of determining if this is in fact a Sunday in the game. The sun does not help. The sun's pretty low. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So they still can't see my lower flank here and I'm gonna use that to send cavalry around them and it looks like they're gonna be hitting more on the right Uh, we'll bring these 
these guys over here. We'll have all these guys focus on that one unit, hopefully. Do a little bit of damage. Got some kills. The key here is luring guys. Into these uh, pikes. Cavalry's gonna go into the pikes there. Our general is under attack. Gotta get everyone moving here. Don't want them to get caught. That's about to be a ruckus there. Gotta sneak these guys around. My cavalry there is doing work. Same with those guys. And that cab charge to the rear. We'll actually stay in that fight for a moment. And we'll inspire some guys just for the heck. The heck of it. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. Kill those spearmen. Now you can charge them. Don't know what those guys are doing thinking they're gonna come back. See these guys here getting chewed up. That's gonna be that. Fairly effective. Yeah, look at that. Just rows of dead in front of the pikes. Bad day for uh, for Del Monte there. Wow, we killed a lot of them. They deployed a lot. Definitely. So after this, we should be able to, uh, unless they have an agent that's going to ruin my plans, we should be able to successfully just march right in, both here and on Pessinus. We'll see how it goes. I mean, because unless they sabotage my army, we should be good to go there. I just need to, definitely before declaring any more wars, I need to uh, clean up this barbarian mess to the north here. Sadly, that was not a decisive victory they have. Guys left over. Much less, though. And of course, that's going to happen. Yeah, this is... Oops. I did not mean to click fight that, I guess. I'm just going to concede defeat immediately. Um... This is the problem. They're being surrounded by so many barbarian factions. My army's going to be running back and forth between them. And I'm not going to be able to actually uh, get into combat with any of them. So this area is going to be messy. Once I finish the Del Mate, I'll bring up my second force. And that should effectively put a stop to, to this, ru this ruckus.
Yeah, see, they're gonna have ladders. There's nothing I can do to stop these ladders. So... We're just gonna concede defeat. Because I meant to hit auto-resolve. There you have it, the... Already... Uh, taking a city there, unless they decide to just... Burn it and walk away again. Which, hopefully, they do not do. So there goes my guy. And, of course... I don't know why they do that. Um... That was stupid. We're just gonna auto-resolve. Well, at least we put the hurt on that army there. Kill the captives. Our guys will replenish rather quickly. And public order's going up again, and these guys are gonna attempt to do something yet again. I hope they did not successfully, uh, sabotage my army. Yep, so that's going to be the end. A pessimist here. Occupy. These guys I don't have to do anything with. We're going to do that. Um, those guys are blockaded. I'm going to need to start looking at recruiting some more forces Ready for here soon. So the question... Got... What do they have? They've got just slingers. I'm not worried about them. So we'll go take our settlement back. Yeah, I don't know what you guys were expecting to achieve here. Didn't work. And... I did not know they were a faction, but okay. Um... Do that, make these guys good at sieging. This guy, get him some more cunning, and the agent. There we go. Extra movement range for accompanying general. At your command. We cannot pass here. And that's... Wow. Because their garrison's there, we're gonna have to fight this, so this is... Turning into a, uh very long episode after this battle I was thinking we'd be able to just walk in after this battle though I will end the episode that'll be it for today next time we should be able to uh, successfully move forward and hopefully put an end to the barbarians to our north hopefully with two forces I might only send one, only send one up to deal with them and to deal with them and the other one, the other one just to defend against the other ones marching down in. Go out this way. I am going to, like, very quickly... Oh. 
that's a terrible formation there, but we're gonna go with it because these guys have minimum forces. I'm not gonna make my men run to get to them though. And that there will be their garrison army. So we'll just spread these guys out a bit more. And our general can... Basically same deployment as last battle, just all the cavalry will be off on one flank. And these men are going to march forward. You know, that's the problem. This army that we're fighting... These guys just don't have the funds for good units, um, so they're sending these rabble. Once again here, these these guys got wrecked in the last fight. Uh, they should be pretty effectively destroyed here. And move up over here. Just have our guys go forward. Our hidden units have been discovered. Citizen cavalry! Orders! Citizen cavalry! Are you at guards? Your orders! Our general is under attack. That was bad. I shouldn't have had those men do that, but because it got my uh, pikes caught without their pikes up. Yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. Maneuvering the guys to block the cav. Of course, this flank here just crumbling. And that's gonna be. Yeah, that's. All of these guys here actually can go ahead and attack that uh, general unit because I'm pretty sure that's effectively it. Those guys back there not wanting to route. There we go. Ending the battle. And there we have it. Their army, this time it looks pretty sufficiently destroyed. Um, they have like nobody. And their garrison should have taken a beating, so hopefully we can just walk in, and that'll be it. And I might start just cutting out the load screens uh, from the videos, because this is probably not all that exciting. Look, people, it's a green bar. Yeah, not exactly what I'd want to be watching. Um, so, we'll probably do that to speed things up a bit. But that was a long, very bloody episode, mostly for our enemies, although I had two cities get sacked. Hopefully that guy keels over and dies too. Yep, good job. Advance at your command. And now Neapolis. Goodbye. And that is all. There we go. So this army is going to level up. Um, 
Yeah, they're gonna be fighting a lot of barbarians. This guy's leveling up. Once again, more campaign movement range. And there we have it. So these buildings... Actually... Whoops. God, I don't want that. Dismantle that. We'll put in a military building there. But anyways, guys... I uh, expanded a little bit, gathered one territory. We're going to have uh, one heck of a fight up here. These three barbarian tribes uh, being a little bit of a pain. But that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you all next time with more. Thank you for watching.